Welcome back, everyone, to another Friday live stream. It was getting dark. Um, by the way, I am in the. Ooh, I got company. A new Postec was in here, but we've also got Pugwash, who's got a load out of Kingman, headed to Farmington, which is where I'm headed. And Drive is in here with a load out of Dallas, going to Albuquerque. So we may cross paths. And I'm, I'm sure I will with uh, Postec. So I'm down here in Houston. Drive is up here out of Dallas. There's Postec headed my way. He's on a reverse course from what I am. Oh, there's Dr. Jo Jones in Farmington. And Pugwash is getting a load in Kingman headed to Farmington. So let's see how this all shakes out. This is going to be fun. Um, I gave folks, some folks in the Discord a heads up that I would be uh, on the server and that they were welcome to join. Um, if you didn't see that message, it's because you don't have the Convoy certified role yet. Um, so those are the folks who saw the message. But you could still get in in the Discord. This is not a Convoy, but... This is a chance to be in a live stream. So I'm on the ATS server in the Discord. Wanted to join in. Anyway, as I said, I am in Houston. And I am headed for Farmington, New Mexico. Have a load of... I got a generator set. That's what I got. So let me recognize the folks that are here early and on time. We got Wigner Hoxen. Who's here? Rob Strecker, aka Lurch, who's also here in the Discord with me to read your chat. What's up? Postec TV is here. Was here early, and he is in the server. As is Pugwash from Wales. The Lobo One G is here. Doctor Jones is here, and he is in the, the server. Phantom sixty seven sixty seven is here. Adam Buser is here. Bedrock is present and or accounted for. That, that, that is such a U.S. military expression. <laughs> uh, Thomas Berger is here from Germany. Rick Rashid is here from Canada. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, Keith Outdoors is here. Welcome to the stream. Rive1808 is here. And in the and in the uh, server, they pointed out Nightbot is here. So watch your P's and Q's. Turn off that caps lock. Don't spit out too many emojis, or Nightbot will get you. All right, let's see what else. Nicholas is here. Hey, Nicholas. What? You are Bedrock, as far as I know. Uh, Keith Cersei is here. Welcome. All right, I'm going to do some shout-outs. Knee-high sniper, our top ETS driver for August, and then I'll get rolling. Dusty, a.k.a. Dirty Dog 3436 our top ETS driver for last January. Isabella Hagloff, Pilot Bro 39 is working. He might be lurking. Seen him in the Discord this morning. Rob Strecker, a.k.a. Lurch, as I said, is here. Bedrock, our top ETS driver for February, is in the chat. Bill Wellburn, Nicholas Triple XN is in the chat. Susan Arthur, our top ETS2 driver for May. Isla Bro is in fact lurking. XLT588 Gaming, Omega Sunrise, our top ETS driver for this January. Silent Dilemma, Norwegian Trucker Nicholas, Big Al 2424, our top ETS driver for December. Johnny Hansen, Tasmified. Lobo 1G, our top ETS2 driver for July. He's here. July of last year, that is. Pugwash is here and in the uh, server. Purdy the Parrot, Carlin, Wim55, our top ATS driver for March. Okay, let's get moving. Uh, hang on a second. I got an itchy eye. So this. Do, 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 do. What do I have? It is dark ish. It is almost 10 p.m. So 
I'm gonna get fired up. In the cab, wait, do I have my lights on? I should have my lights on. Yeah. I don't have an oversized load. I just had these on because I thought I was gonna get an oversized load. So, I mean, I don't even need to turn on my beacons. Although they look cool. I'll leave them off. Nicholas this says, I've just parked in our yard, so I just trying to say hi. Gonna drive home now, so I'll be back in about 30 minutes. Okay. Can't see myself. This generator set weighs about 44,000 pounds. Yeah, we'll leave out the beacons. I'll leave the hazards on temporarily while we're in this yard. saying bye to the people in the shipping office. Oblivion says hi. Hey, Oblivion. Drives this high boomer and everyone. Hey, JC, welcome to the stream. I think I DM'd you earlier about rescheduling our one on one. I think that was you. Okay. And Rashid says generator is for uh, Boomer's corn dryer. <laughs> I don't think I need one of those for the corn dryer. Wonder if I can go straight through here. I'm going to have to check the map in a moment. Zoom in. Uh, looks like I can, but that's not the routing I'm having on. By the way, the distance on this run is uh, almost 1,100 miles. If I can get through here. Oh yeah. Whoa. The high snipers here. All right. And DK says, hey Boomer, is that 1.5 beta? Negative. I don't normally run betas, and I certainly can't do that in a in a server. <laughs> Besides, I certainly wouldn't run an experimental beta in a live stream. 
I have done an open beta. I think I did 149 open beta. But that's because it introduced so many cool things that I opted to do that. But I think that was just in Euro Truck. Uh, welcome to the stream, by the way. Nihai. Yeah. Well, that better for 19 months. I think you're the first one that's that's recorded that milestone. Unless somebody didn't know, you got to be because you're the uh, you're at the top of the stack. No, oh, there's mine. Oh. He yeah, says, "Proud to have it." So sorry I've been as busy as I have gentlemen I haven't disappeared we understand you're a young age guy with a career family and young kids we're happy to have you anytime we can get you but family comes first and job but that's related to family For a new IT position at work for WFH support. Well, I don't know what that is, but good luck. Exciting opportunity. No doubt. Oh, work from home. Okay. Oh. Just like pilot. Him that clarified WFH. He yeah, says, Bingo. Okay, let's get some daylight going in here in three, two, one. Wow, Dr. Jones like reading my mind or something. What did he do too? No, he posted in, I don't know if it popped up on the screen for you guys, but he posted in the in-game chat. Brace yourselves, get ready for a flash. Got to reset my trip meter, check my fuel economy along the way. Just whenever I remember to look at it, I just want to see how I'm doing. So we've got a little over an hour's drive here. I got to remember to watch out for oncoming uh members of the community that are in the server. I don't believe there's anybody close at the moment, though. Got a scale coming up. Got a green. Mugawash says, had to pull over. Gone blind. <laughs> and 
Courtney has You're welcome. to hop on to Truck Sim tonight, depending on hours. Yeah, we've uh, we've fallen to twentieth place. AC drives is connected. Can you see that? I'm going to need to get a coffee soon. Check the map here. Nobody nearby. Answer the question from before. No, we could not see that. At least I couldn't. Really? Because I looked over on my monitor and it, it was showing. says playing on one beta 1.5 not using many mods but i see items in the environment that are pink or pink white checkered does that mean there is a problem somewhere in the graphics probably with one of the mods you're using could be with the beta but most likely as a result of the mods try running without any mods see how it looks Using many mods is what I see. Keith Outdoors can only watch for around 30 because he needs to do some work stuff. I understand. It's a work day, a weekday. You got me there. I should not read and work at the same time. <laughs> now who needs the coffee, pilot? I know, not as big of a goof as what I did. <laughs> so did I. Hey, I wonder how far we are from Waco. Oh, there's a rest area coming up. I'll hit that. You know, look at that sky on the left. We got some thin, wispy clouds. And then ahead and to the right, some puffy, darker clouds. That is so realistic. SCS just keeps making more and more improvements to the game. says they've always had a great sky. It's just even better now. Navarro yeah, County Safety Rest Area. He 
ads, but I love how they actually improve it instead of just taking our money. Yeah. Same here. Nick Forrest says, how come some base SCS trucks have some of their digital dashboard readouts missing like the Kenworth W900? I have to use a mod to fix it. Because it's an option in a in the truck in real life it doesn't exist in every every truck so you you would think that it would be there just because we do some shout outs while i'm here go to the old jj man 1982 thor rasmussen our top ets2 driver for april ip switch david h74 matthew roth RD04 Dave, our top ATS driver for March of last year. Troken, Justin Burns, and I think Justin is in server. Oh, look, drive already. Where's he going? Oh, he's at a fuel stop. Douglas Williams, JC Drives, our top ETS2 driver for March. Where's he at? Where's that JC Drive? Look at him over there, south of Albuquerque. There's Dr. Jones headed my way. JC Drives is at the at the rail yard in Albuquerque. Bugwash is eastbound on Interstate 40. As is Dr. Jones. I think he's yeah. Let me see where he's going. There's six of us in here now. So Dr. Jones is headed to Houston from Farmington. Nice. Justin Burns says SCS is one of those rare companies that actually cares what product they give to their consumers. That's why I buy all their DLCs as soon as it releases. I agree. And Matthew Walter is here. Says, how are you doing today? Hey, Matthew. Welcome. Bruce A., Thomas Berger, Tazzy291, Lee Jenkins, Doom 3. Stops. All right. Let's get rolling. Matthew asks, are you convoying tomorrow? Uh, for, for the live stream. Not for the members. I am in the evening. I will be, I believe, I'm convoying tomorrow evening with Big Al. That's not usually a problem. And I didn't expect him to stop either. Yeah, I said DOT must be on the other side of the road. Yeah, we passed it. Here comes one now. Well, Highway Patrol.
get back in a cab. Got my mouth to read that, and it's just night on. <laughs> I just noticed something. Look in the mirror. See the road next to me? It's missing a shadow. There's a thing that I wouldn't have expected. You can see the shadow here, but not in the mirror. Interesting. Not the end of the world or anything, but it just seems, you know, we're talking about SCS is the quality level, and there's something I just noticed that they missed. Yep, those mirrors too. Okay. And after all this time, I just noticed it. I haven't noticed it either. And I only noticed it because when I looked over my shoulder, I can see the shadow. I got another green. Justin Burns says some of the loads have no volumetric shadows either, just like or like the uh, yard trucks. Well, my truck doesn't, or trailer doesn't have, at least in the mirror, doesn't have shadow that I can tell. Maybe they will improve on it in 1.5. Maybe. be you could try um, verifying your files with steam I 
I had actually previously responded to Nick, one of Nick's um, comments on another video yesterday. He was explaining to me the problem he was having with some graphics related issues. In fact, it was the same kind of a crash that other people were experiencing uh, between, I think, Burlington and Sterling. I think. And he was in running 150. And I recommended that he remove start removing mods one at a time and go back to that area. And when the game stops crashing, he will have found most likely the offending mod. Because I know some other members had that problem before, and that was the solution. It's almost always the solution to a problem like that. But you should also verify your files with Steam. but uh, eventually it quit crashing at that spot. You can also try when something like that happens. I mean, the first, the go-to thing is to verify your files. Sometimes it's a good idea to reboot your computer. Let's see, it should be coming up on somebody soon. Oh yeah, here comes Poztech. Nehi says I'm getting yoinked for a staffing meeting. Drive y'all drive safe and talk to you later. Alright, Nehi, thanks. There goes pause tech. Oop. Get back in my lane. Oh, I forgot to wave. <laughs> you say off the road again? Uh huh. That's funny. <laughs> I should I should use that as a catchphrase. Along with my all over the road trucking adventure. Nick Forrest says Steam sometimes won't open the game for me if my memory crate, or crate app isn't updated. Can that cause it? What is it? Something about memory? Or armory crate app. I don't understand what that is. Yeah, you probably need to kill some system functions. Could be bogging down your system with a bunch of other stuff. Justin says, Asus software, it's possible. It runs a lot of system functions in the background. And then Nick says, it's like my GPU or something. Yeah, I learned a long time ago, turn off a lot of extra things running in the background that you don't really need. Sooner or later, it's going to cause a conflict.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold up, drive. I took the wrong turn. I got to double back. <laughs> oh, Nicholas is back already. <laughs> that was a short meeting. Nicholas, not knee high. Oh. Wait, where did Nicholas go? Oh, that's right. Home. He had to drive home, yeah. Dobbs is here. Dobbs! He thought Dorset is right. Got to go. Take care and stay safe. All right. Justin Burns says, Aces probably makes your video card then. Armory crate isn't required, but can add convenience. All you really need are your video card drivers. Treasure O says, hello folks. What is our cargo en route for the day? I am hauling a generator set. Let me make sure I don't go the wrong way again. Hold on. From Houston to Farmington, New Mexico. Ulysses S. Grant says hello. <laughs> Welcome. You get your head tracker squared away? I can still help you tweak that if you want. Nick Forrest says, yeah, that's it. Armory crate helps run your graphics card and stuff like that. Sometimes those little helper things are not all they're cracked up to be. Ulysses. All right, drive, here I come. He says, still doing that lock thing, and I can't look all the way to my left. Like, ah! Like that? <laughs> Pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Adam says, what, what are you hauling and going to? I just said. Like, moments ago, I just said that. Where you been? Yeah, I thought you were here. <laughs> Speaking of here, there's Dr. Oh, it's Dr. Jones. What happened to drive? Oh, oh, he's going the he's same way. Oh, that's why he's farther away. He's going the same direction. Um, yeah, Justin came out of nowhere, did. Um, you read that one when you were done. <laughs> it was something else. Yeah. Grant, let's get together. Well, I can't today, but maybe Sunday. Thomas Berger just gifted five memberships. And the lucky winners are Ulysses S. Grant, Big T S, Big T5280. FGG Mike B, Robert Alexander, and John the Bricklayer. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you, Thomas. The list was starting to get a little short. A lot of people <laughs> fell off in the last week. I'm not complaining, mind you. It just fewer names to read, but 
you know. Adam said he was switching between listening and watching. Yeah, I can't hear you. Hold on. Driving at the same time. Hold on. I got, I got Dr. Jones coming up. Looks like he's not moving. There's not moving. There he is. Dr. Jones, everybody. Oh, it's getting dark. But it's the middle of the afternoon. Um, yeah. says lane departure in 1.50 is going to be a great help for Boomer in these streams when he takes his eyes off the road. No, it won't because I'm not turning it on. I don't like things <laughs> like that. Same reason I don't use that uh, that radar thing that slows you down when you're on cruise control. I refuse to use it. I tried it for like 10 minutes and I'm like, oh, that's got to go. Because it was just as bad as it was in real life. Well, not as bad, but it was annoying. So, I think I took like 1% of damage on that. Hope it wasn't to the cargo. Nope, it's to the truck. Oh, two in the afternoon, and it is icky. Adam says it's probably just a scrape. It is. In real life, it'd be a nasty gash down the left side. Pilot Bro replies, right. If they could put that on a switch that he can activate just while reading chat, then it's worth it. <laughs> now, there's an idea. But I don't think it would work that way. It's probably, you'd have to go into the options and, and set it be neat though because I could turn it on just for that because we all know what happens when I re start reading the chat Jero says ABS saved twice from non-serious rear enders in real life from, from serious rear enders Are you having reading issues? <laughs> Maybe you need more right. coffee. Tongue issues. Tongue? Uh, Bogdan yeah. BD, we're Jennifer Roth, Rick Rashid, Andrew Black, Phantom 6767, Ryan. Turn that off and get outside. Lee01 Mr. CJ Johns 31, Oblivion, and our top ATS driver for February. Keith Searcy, David Singh, Wolf Gaming, James Brandt, Road Trip Nerd, Poztech TV, Dr. Jones, our top ETS2 driver for February. Can you do something in March, too? says my fat fingers typos not the narrator's fault today oh <laughs> and then there's that Adam well let's says, yes. see if I get pulled in 
What did Adam say? Yesterday, I was driving from the top of Germany to the bottom of France. I did not realize my tires needed to be changed, but no damage to the truck. Well, they don't necessarily need to be changed. They, they, they indicate where, up to a certain point, it's just always going to show. That's the new modeling now. I don't actually care for that with respect to how it shows up when you get to a scale. But your tires are always going to have wear. That's just a fact of life. I think I think you once you get to like thirty percent, you got to replace them. I think. Pilot Bro says, "Wait, is that still happening to you since leaving Sissel?" Yeah, I think so. Let's find out, shall we? I've got... I don't have much wear. Adam says my tire's worn out about 20%. You're good for a little while yet. Your vehicle's not in perfect technical state. Be more careful next time. Let's see what this says. Uh, I've got 5%. Um, 1% damage what? on the Over 20% wear on the trailer tires. 25%, yeah. So the more tire wear you get, the, the more it still says that. Trucks have a tire wear sensor to tell the drivers when it needs to be changed? No. The truck has no way of knowing outside of air pressure. As a driver, you check the tread wear as part of your pre trip and post trip inspection. I didn't check it every day. But I would check it periodically. I actually had a little plastic credit card size card. Nicholas is in the server and it had all the measurements on there. I have to dig that up. And I used that, I just put it in the in the grooves on the tires check the wear. Justin Burns says some service stations have laser sensor plates you drive over and it gives details about tread wear and among other things. Really? I've never heard of that. Technology, you know, I've been out of the saddle now for six years. Wow. Six years. As the dealer I take my car to has one, not sure if trucks are too heavy for something like that or not. I don't know. I never heard about it, or I've never heard of that. Adam 
I asked him, at truck stops or service stations? Wait, what? Adam was asking, at service stations or truck stops? Or... About that, that sensor plate. I've never heard of it. What I have, I mean, what I've done in the past, other than what I already said, is Love's had a program where you could go there and they would hook you up, but that was mostly to check air pressure. It would actually go through and check all your air pressure. And then the attendant would actually check the tread depth with the same kind of gauge I had, or similar. I had a cheap plastic thing with like a little ruler with, with the measurements on it. You can also get, and a lot of, um, no matter what field they're in, there is such a thing as a mechanical thread gauge doohickey. It's, it's made of metal. And I would say pretty much all tire technicians have that. Coming up on JC Drives and Drives. Ooh, I just saw some lightning. You know, I think I might pull into that truck stop where JC is and grab a coffee and maybe even fuel. If he's still there. Oh, he's not there. He's getting a load. Drive, I got to stop and get some fuel. Well, I don't have to, but I got to get coffee. says, I wish they had that full map, screen map overlay in single player. Yeah, me too. It's real handy. Adam Butzer says, Passover starts on Monday. Really? Why did I think that was last month? Well, I've never been very good at keeping up with that stuff. Yeah, like Justin says, Easter was last month. That's what I equate it with. says good evening all. Hey Thor. All right, let's do some shout outs while we're waiting for the light. Noah Long, Arnar Hoxson. Wait, I thought he fell. Oh, it's Arnar. Okay, never mind. Sticky Stigs 122, Dustin Simbro, Colin Percival, Jose Lima, Karis Lynn, Pancake Man, Jesse 2670, Day and B Travels, Randy Disher, Watching YouTube, Manny Oy, Matthew Walter, Tyler Thompson, there's the green light. And there's JC.
That's JC right there in that cab over. Adam Rose correcting Adam saying that Passover d does, or no, verifying Passover does start on Monday. All right, let's check condition. Get a few things fixed, not much. So we've still got 18% wear on the tires on the truck, truck tires, and 25% on the trailer tires. So the damage report for the truck is still showing at 5%. 2% wear on the engine, 18%. Okay, so that's that's what it's showing. And again, Ulysses S. Grant, you should be able to turn your head like this with your head tracking and see over your left shoulder. And that is completely adjustable within the, uh, the software for the track IR. Bedrock says KDFW to KTUL, wish me luck. What? Oh. G Man, Mr. Jacob Morales, Gaming Cakes, Dougie Boy, Claudio Diaz, Lorm, Vernon Bunch. Untamed Eagle. Miles Dutton. Hey, start up. Matrix Racing, Bard, Barrow, Mark, and I, it's James. That is everybody on the shout out list at the moment. Not including the people that just got their memberships renewed. Okay, as soon as I get done with my coffee, I'm going to flash the time. Where's that JC? There he is. All right, here we go. Flashing the time. Even though it's not dark yet, it's going to be. <laughs> There's the sunrise. And Bedrock, I don't think I have to wish you luck on getting from Dallas Fort Worth to Tulsa. It's more about everything working once you get close to Tulsa. Okay. But good luck. Where are we and where are other people? So JC is here. Drive is ahead of us. Good. He's parked here. He stopped. He's pulled in. Whatever. Something or another. We still have 482 miles to go to get to Farmington. I'm coming, drive.
Wow, that's a long way away. There he is. Hey, that's not your new truck skin. Or is that a Euro truck skin that you got new? Uh-oh, I just cut that guy off. Sorry. So what you're saying is AP will do it all. The luck comes in when I take over. A lot of truth to that. What? Oh, bedrock. They said something else. <laughs> and JC says ETS2. That can debut on the convoy. JC Drive's got a new truck skin by Nicholas. My fuel economy has kind of gone in the toilet. We were at 6.3 for a while, now we're at 5.5. Oh well. It happens. Amarillo! And we're not going through all the traffic lights this time. Smack in the face! The speed limit's only 60. So what are we at? 7.03 a.m. And the sun is coming up, shining on our backside. Kind of my favorite time of the day. It's just that I like being asleep during this time of day. why it's here every time of day. <laughs> That's right. Still only 60. Dang it. Come on, let's get up to 65. Whoa, dip our heads down. 75. Well, we can't do 75. This is a world of trucks load, so we're going to have to settle for 65. yet to be at that pickup or anything at that farm there at least on this profile we have 425 miles to go Barring any unforeseen issues, we should be there in 25 minutes. Real time. Sorry, I was I saw something off in the distance. It looked like it was a mountain, you know, a small mountain. And I thought, that can't be. This is Texas. And 
And in fact, it's the Texas Panhandle, and we are about to leave Texas and roll into New Mexico. Let's see where Drive is. Uh, JC Drives is right behind us. And Drive is ahead of us. Well, Drive, I'm rolling along at 65. Hopefully I can maintain that. You know, I was thinking once again today, I do wish I could go back out on the road. There's a lot that I miss, but it's changed, I think. And not, not necessarily for the better. It's been a rough economy. And I think that that is depressing prices a bit for hauling freight. So I think it would be a tough go for an independent. Because that would be my preference, to be an independent. I was an owner-operator, but I still was contracted with Schneider. I was signed on with them. I hauled their freight. There's a certain level of security with that. But as I, you know, I follow a lot of drivers on uh, Twitter, and some of them are doing okay, but some of them are having a tough time. Says hi. Who? Noah Lawn. Noah. Welcome. And that was just like real life. You gotta be watching those on ramps for merging traffic. And I just, hey, there's Pugwash coming up. And Drive is headed the same direction we are. There he is. Looks like he's got a big load there on his uh, triple low boys. Got to slow down for these curves. They are no joke.
I tipped over on that curb once. In the game, not in real life. I had a a heavy load that was a little high centered. Man, I went right over. First time that ever happened in the game where I chipped over, I was in a convoy. I was shocked when it happened. I think the physics were off a little bit. Yeah, the 291 says, hi, Boomer. Would you go in as a company driver? Hey, Tazzy. Uh, no. I, well, I prefer not to. You got no control. I'm a control freak, so I need to be in control of what I'm doing. And you have virtually zero control as a company driver. I'm not a very good employee. I'll do what I have to, you know, what, what I'm directed to do, because that's the job. I just won't be, I need to be in control. I would take control, I would take control over what I'm doing over um, security any day. Sorry, cut you off. <laughs> Ken Beard says hi all. Ken Beard! Bedrock's a control freak? Nah. <laughs> Thor says my friend says that the money is are coming back for long hauling in Europe again. Well that's good. Yeah, it's been a long, tough haul. I mean, recovery from COVID. You know, from when trucking and shipping got shut down. Well, shipping got shut down anyway. But I think if I could go back to 10 plus years ago in time, do my own thing, I'd be a happier camper. I might even do flatbed. I don't like the idea of getting out and strapping or tarping in rain or sleet or snow. But just, I like the idea of flatbedding. Something about it. I've never done it in real life. I've pulled a couple of flatbed trailers here locally, but they were empty. I see drive ahead. Noah says, nice truck. Thank you. Adam is wondering, have you stepped on the brake and accelerator at the same time, like taking off from a start? Um, you mean in game or in real life? I would, well, it doesn't matter. No, I think is the answer. However, what I have done in real life is I had a handbrake uh, control on my steering wheel column like the old three-speed shifter on the column um, in cars or trucks, pickups. Anyway, there's a it's a lever. Some trucks have them, some don't. And I have I have pulled that to keep me from rolling backwards while I try to pull forward. I've simulated that in the game by pulling the red knob on my button box to hold the trailer brakes while I, you know, start slipping the clutch. Let's see, are we 
going north? We are. Oh, there's drive right in front of me. Oh, I don't want to be in that lane. I'm coming, drive. Nicholas says American trucks don't have hill assist. We do in Europe. Hill assist? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh! How did he do that? Drive, you just took me out. <laughs> Omega said, one Swifty? Wow, and then that happened. He says, never mind, spoke too soon. <laughs> that must have been a little bit of latency. There goes JC. LR2 wow. Truckings. Says, what engine do you have? It sounds very nice. Uh, I've got a 625 horsepower. Yeah, I don't know. As pilot. <laughs> wow. Drive, drive says I felt nothing. No, I felt it all. Man, I'm gonna limp into the shop now. Yeah, there must have been a uh, lag spike or something. Because one minute you're ahead of me, and then the next minute I was in the back of your trailer. And now I've got 40% damage, 8% on the trailer, 4% on the cargo. So that Jake Brake sound is from the engine sound mod which is the Creech Bomb, I think. Maybe not. I don't even know. Jeez. Justin says, yeah, your stream hiccuped, and when it came back, you had collided. Yeah, I don't think that was the stream. I think it was the uh, latency issue. Wait. Is this not the... That's how it showed up in the stream. Bruce says, what's up, y'all? Bruce? Is that Bruce A? Can't be. Uh, no, Bruce A. Any, I mean, well, and it's not green, so it must be a different Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Welcome to the stream. Hogwarts says, nothing to do with me. I'm miles away. Andrew Harris says, how do you get your own truck in uh, American Truck Simulator? You buy it at a truck shop. Nicholas says, no workshop here, boss. It's on the other side of the big junction. Oh, oh. oh look, there's Nicholas. <laughs> Which is probably why he says that. Yeah, I'm like, how does he know that? Well, there's Nicholas. Bruce says, looks like this is my new hangout place. Oh. So who asked the question about the truck? Andrew Harris. Andrew. So, this is just a truck out of the shop, you know, where you buy any truck. But I have a custom skin on it. That is a mod. But this mod is only available to 
Well, there's um, members of my virtual trucking company after they get to their probationary period. But not this particular skin, this one's mine. We have a custom skin mod. All right, I'm just gonna stop right here in traffic. And sort out where I'm going for a shop. There's no shop that away. Oh, gotta go all the way back here. Hit the one up there in Farmington. I don't think I can make that. I'm gonna have to go to the Peterbilt. Oh, 31 miles out of route. So this is a Western Star 5700XE right out of the right out of the game. It's a stock SCS truck. But I have a custom skin on it. Oh, I'm like, why is somebody blowing her horn at me at a red light? And it's Nicholas. Just Anyhow, said, was explaining have to do quick jobs until you have enough money or can take a loan to buy a truck from the dealer. Right. Adam says my closest Peterbilt dealer is Eastern Pennsylvania. Closest Kenworth dealer is 15 miles from my house. Pilot Bird says, ah, you can't buy it anymore. Have to find it in the used trucks. This one? I didn't know that. Well, anywho, buy a truck in the shop at a truck dealer. And if you have any interest in joining a virtual trucking company and you Want to follow all the rules of the road and drive like a real truck driver? Link in the description below for both Trucks Book, Trucky, and our Discord. You won't have access to the skins without being in our Discord. And all those things I just listed off are free. Treasure O says that's a free to play truck. Yes, it is not a modded truck. It is a stock truck. The mod for the skin is not available at any price. It is available only to uh, members of my virtual trucking company and there is no cost. Just got a Join and drive and follow the rules. And you can earn one. Well, man, how can I earn it? Well, you got to place first or second for the month in earning miles or kilometers, and uh, otherwise you can be in the runners-up drawing if you uh, do the minimums. Still got to do 10,000 miles. Adam says, see you on the weekend. See yeah, Adam. Andrew Harris.
Sarah says, I have Discord. I don't want Well, that's good. If you want to join the VTC, there's a link in the description below for Trucks Book and Trucky. Just have to set up an account with them. It is free. Man, this is going to be expensive. I just know it. says throw half the bill my way oh, I'm throwing it all your way <laughs> oh yeah drive is um and pugwash and Nicholas they're on the other side of the Atlantic pugwash is in Wales drive is in the UK or well, England and Nicholas is in Norway. Who else is on there? And beer think says it's just money. Yeah. I think JC is in the UK also. All right. 34,000. But unfortunately, my cargo is still damaged 4%. Well, nothing to do about it, but get it, get it on in and hope they uh, accept the load. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Treasure O says, I joined the Discord group a while ago, but I don't know how to change the display name there to Treasure O. Uh, what's your current name? Nicholas asked, shouldn't you change the tires too? Not yet. They're just going to wear down the new ones. I'll wait till they get to replacement. Uh, uh, levels. He says, since they were 26%, I mean. I think uh, you get prompted to do it at 30%. Treasure is checking. Andrew Harris says, how can you level up in the game? By doing, by hauling freight. You get experience points. Oops. And when you get enough experience points, you move up a level. Oh, Nicholas says, oops, I crashed while writing that comment. 37% damage, sorry. Three community or Arma three. 
wagon. Wait, are you in my Discord? JC Drive says, don't text while driving. And Thor says, you're going to need another coffee. Yeah, I will. And Trav says, and I was nowhere near you, Nicholas. <laughs> that was all Nicholas. Island Bro confirms he found him. Okay. So, Treasure, are you planning to join our VTC as well? If so, you'll need to set use that same name, Treasure O. In your for your uh, trucks book and or trucky handle, and handle is just a name you use in a particular place. You can change your your name in Trucks Book and Trucky in your profile settings if it's not already set that way. And it would really be ideal if you use the same profile image. to make YouTube videos on YouTube. <laughs> what? Well, I'm wondering, how do you make YouTube videos? Well, by learning how to do it, I guess. Yeah, that's not an easy question to answer. Besides, that's not what my channel is about. This is a truck sim channel. There are a lot of resources on YouTube. I will recommend one that I have used for years, Think Media. They are great. They provide a lot of useful information. And that is Think Media. Like Think. Those guys know what they're doing. I like was sort of reading your mind. He, he answered, type your question in the YouTube search and you'll find many videos. There's your answer. YouTube University. You can get a heck of an education about just about anything on YouTube University. You want to know something about trucking? I can probably answer your question. Hey. hey, Taz, been missing you. Was thinking about reaching out to you via DM to see if you're okay. 
haven't had you, haven't, haven't convoyed with you in a Sunday fun day convoy in many weeks. I guess I would say, what have you been up to? miles to go. I have literally spent the night on the side of the road on this highway. I think it was this highway. Eh, it might have been farther north, but anyway, yeah. In this part of New Mexico, I've literally pulled off onto a pullout and spent the night. kind of like doing that in places where not a lot of traffic and not a lot of light pollution so you can see the stars at night. Let's see, who were, were we near anybody? No. As if I had replied, still around. Been enjoying my local dessert a lot more lately in my new to me side by side and working on other vehicles in the garage. New dessert? Local dessert? Or local desert? Been enjoying his local dessert. Okay. So, tell us about this dessert. Oops, sorry. No, desert. Chat Swifty. <laughs> Looks like desert to me. One S. That's what I said. Oops. Yeah, Chat Swifty. It's desert. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that's a horse of a different color. Wait, you don't live in the desert, do you? Oh, right. You live out by um, north of Edwards Air Force Base, China Lake area, right? That's out in the desert. <laughs> the Mojave Desert, I think. Nicholas just reconnected. Drive disconnected. Oops. He says you are correct, sir. Okay. It's weird the things I can remember. I don't remember what I'm having for dinner tonight. I really haven't even got that far in my planning. And we are rolling into Farmington. Treasure says your memory is fantastic. Yeah, about some things. It's weird. Like I said.
Oh, yeah, I gotta get that coffee soon. But I'm all, almost to delivery. Well, I don't have a red bed yet, but... Should have, yes, coming up. There is a sleep trigger and a shop. I will pull in there and grab a coffee, and then I don't have to worry about all the yawning while I'm trying to make delivery. Is that a red light? Nope. Cass says, a couple weeks ago, I ended up with some extra time and enjoyed a convoy with Pug. Oh, yeah, I did see you, come to think of it. JC Drive is reconnected. Yeah, it's even with all the red lights. Oh, that's right. I'm not here for repairs. <laughs> See, I forgot what I was doing. Treasure asks, what kind of trailer did you haul the most in real life? Drive in. I did. I started out doing reefer for the first two and a half years, and then I did drive in. For, well, let's see, the next five years? Yeah, four or five years. I liked both. How did I miss that trigger? With Reefer, I mean, it's got some unique things with it. You got to have typically heavier loads um the heavier trailer but they typically fill you up you know with refrigerated loads um but you can still haul the same most of the same kinds of stuff that you can do with dry van so but I like dry van better because you didn't have all the reefer stuff to deal with. There are some other things you have to deal with with reefer. Like the fueling operation is a little different. You have to understand how reefers work a little bit. I actually had opportunity to work on the reefer units a few times. Andrew well, there's Harris Dr. Says, Jones have... up there. Andrew Harris says, I have ATS on my computer. Okay. Do you drive? Treasure OS dry van or what kind of cargoes? General cargo, general freight, all kinds. I know Nicholas's game crashed, but he doesn't know why. Twice. Uh -oh. Reboot your computer.
directs so. a nice flight on the ground safely. It's cold and dark at gate 25. Time for a margarita now. <laughs> and then some farming. Nice. You're getting better at it. I'm a little jealous. I almost fired it up yesterday. All right, I just wanted to comment about, for, for folks that don't do much truck driving, it, to see if you understand why I'm doing what I'm doing to back into that spot. Nicholas said drive was invisible on my screen. Oh, there's Nicholas in my parking spot. Well, he can just drive through me. says to avoid blindside parking, right? That's right. Well, you really couldn't have done one anyway. In this tight space, there's Bugwash and Dr. Jones and Nicholas. Yeah, but anytime you can avoid doing a blindside back, that's, that's a good thing to do. Sometimes you can't avoid it, though. See how badly we got dinged. Satisfactory. Four and a half percent damage penalty. That's not good. So somebody was asking, how do you level up? Well, you get experience points when you make deliveries. And then when you reach whatever the threshold is for the next level, you just automatically get moved up. So I'm currently level level 58 in this profile. Be able to check the uh, results. Yep, I already brought it up since I knew you were going to ask. Okay, you got four stars, 615 wow. hit hardcore points. Yeah, I think of hit points every time <laughs> I see that. <laughs> four stars after that damage. Wow. says at least it wasn't good work yeah I'm not sure what you have to do to get that but I'm thinking I'm glad that I didn't get that I would think good work would be better than satisfactory yeah I guess I would too but uh, so I don't know what levels but I mean I've Every time I've had damage freight, it's been satisfactory. As long as I wasn't late. I said you have that invisible thing is an optional mod, Nicholas. <laughs> We 
which Nicholas and both and Pilot Bro both are wondering what mod is that? Maybe that's why my game crashed. Wow, Nicholas just left again. Oh, crashed again. <laughs> you know, Nicholas, if your game keeps crashing like that, you could be a streamer. <laughs> wow, what a rogues gallery. Dr. Jones, Pugwash. Well, we got invisible Nicholas. don't have JC drives though. Let's see. Anybody else around? There's JC headed north. He's uh, just crossing into Utah from Colorado. Pilot's first guess is the res built wheel pack. Yeah, Nicholas, do you have that in your mods uh, stack? Because if you don't, and if somebody's running res belt uh-huh he says that's the only one i don't have that's why but i don't know who might be i'm not running the res belt and neither are they oh so, i thought that was changed to a required mod it's mandatory it's still an optional mod though oh you ready for nicholas to appear Oh. Not doing a dance on top of you. <laughs> yeah, I see him on the areas. Pilot Bro says they only have to be running a wheel or tire from it. And they can do that on any other on other trucks. There we go. Well, thanks you guys for showing up. I enjoy doing this. Let me uh, move the sun around a little bit. Thanks for coming on and um, being part of the show, except in Drive's case. Bashing into me. <laughs> At least it wasn't me bashing into somebody. Oh, my goodness. Like the guardrail. That was all me. Yeah, you'll need that res built wheel pack for sure. That's what happened to me. <laughs> yeah, whenever he got close to me. <laughs> yeah. Because you were using some of the stuff from it. All right. That's going to do it, everybody. Thanks for joining me. What do we got? Uh, we went on likes. We got. 30 likes, right. 37 viewers. Drive says, I enjoyed you crashing into me, Boomer. <laughs> Rammed your, ran right into your backside. Uh, okay. Um, oh, that took a little bit longer than I expected, but that's just happened sometimes. And uh, actually, well, okay. I was thinking out. Might have had more than one Swifty, but that was just a lag thing. A lag spike. Um, yep. Mandatory. Because it will cause your game to crash. That's what we learned. Okay. That's going to do it. Tomorrow, we got a members-only live stream. I don't even know what I'm doing yet. And then tomorrow evening, one-on-one uh, -on -one convoy with... A uh, big L. That will be in American Truck Simulator, I think. I don't even remember. See, there's that memory thing going on. Yeah. So Big Al won the runners up drawing for March for American Truck Simulator. And I think that's what we're doing. Can't swear to it though. And then not streaming or not planning to stream on Sunday. Uh, yeah. 
Commander Dragon. Hi and bye. <laughs> okay. Um, and then let's see what else. Yeah, we got a we got a little farming thing going on later on today. So, and that's also in the Discord. Uh, I was going to say something else. I can't think what it was. Oh, members. So I had a poll before for the previous members only live stream and y'all voted it down. I'm going to ask again, would you like me to do, think about it. I don't know that I can do it yet, but think about it. Would you like me to do another stream with Alaskan Road Truckers? The reason I ask is that they just came out with an update um, yesterday. I've downloaded it. I haven't tried it yet, but it's supposed to have some game improvements. So um, think about it. I may put up a poll. I may not. I may just do something in Euro Truck tomorrow. Um, the uh, truck challenge is done. We finished that up last weekend uh, in Euro Truck Simulator. I don't think we're going to do another one for American Truck Simulator for reasons I won't get into right now. But we're not we're not set up for it at this point. But we do have another challenge that I need to get start getting set up, and that would be the American Truck Simulator All States Challenge trying to coordinate this with the release of nebraska i don't know when that's coming out but i gotta believe it's really soon like weeks so based on based on the blog posts and the videos that scs has been doing and releasing the live streams and and the uh the drive-throughs they the other day they released a, a uh gameplay video of just driving in nebraska that was nice. I like that. It really, that's to see when I see things like that, just like with Kansas when it came out and Oklahoma when it came out, Texas, et cetera. It just takes me back to, man, I miss doing this for reals. So, but Nebraska's coming out soon. And I, I really kind of want to coordinate our all states challenge around that because Nebraska is going to be our focus. So anyway, enough of that. I'll, we'll, we'll touch on that some more later when I have something more concrete and we know a little bit more about Nebraska. All right. Thanks for being here, everyone. Uh, thanks for the um, gifted memberships, Thomas. And I don't think there was any coffees or tips or anything. I don't recall. I don't remember stuff. But thank you so much for being here today. I really do appreciate having you. And we'll see many of you tomorrow.